Good morning, it's Kale. I thought today that I would do a tour of an area in Ancient Worlds, which has been my home online for a long time. I will link the other video. I did a little tour, retrospective type thing that I did um, in the description. So today I wanted to do Rome. So I don't know where I got the idea to do tours, like individual tours of the different uh, worlds. We call them worlds in ancient worlds, um, I guess last night, like when I couldn't sleep. So <laughs> anyhow, right now on the screen, you can see we're in board central, which is kind of what used to be called the daily index, which is where you can see like the latest posts in the site. So this is an ancient history site and, um, you can sign up and then you pick your persona. So up here in the upper right hand corner, right now I'm logged in as my Kaylee Adair Morna persona. So I also have like a Kaylee Adair Etana. She's in Mesopotamia, but the Morna clan is in Keltia. So it doesn't really matter which world you go into if you don't really care, but normally you pick like which one you have like the most interest in, so like the Orient or the Americas, like the Incas or, you know, Germania or, or Hellas, which is Greece. So uh, my main two were um, Celtia, of course, because I really like Celtic history. I did Mesopotamia because I was helping somebody out. I became a scribe there. A scribe is kind of like a leader in that world and you help the other residents. So, um, let me go over from here. Like, here's these site-wide boards, but we're not going to deal with those right now. We're going to go up here in the upper left-hand corner. Um, and by the way, it's very early here, so my dogs are asleep, so hopefully they will just stay quiet because it's like, it's not even 7 o'clock yet. So up here you have all these little icons, and the owner of the site is actually working on recoding the site because the software that it originally ran on could no longer be updated. That's how old it is. And this site has been around for, I think I joined in like 97, 98. So it's been around for a long time. So let's go over to Rome, which is the first icon up here. And we may find like broken graphics around because he is rebuilding it. But I really wanted to just kind of go around and show you like what there is in Rome. Okay, so the way that all of the worlds work is you'll have like their uh, main forum boards, like the posting boards where you can post things. And here they're uh, kind of broken up the groups into academic centers, historical R&R, &R, and uh, role play groups. And then you have Roman families. So when you come and you sign up at the site, let's say you want to be a Roman and you want to be part of the Caesar family here, right? So here's all these different Romans that are using the family name of Caesar. Right? And then there's all of these <laughs> different family names. There's like a lot. So it's crazy. But of course, the site's been here for a long time. So... Um, yeah, it's crazy. So there's a virtual Rome game. I've never actually looked at it because, of course, Rome was not like my main area. I do have a Roman persona. Um, we'll go to that in a minute so I can show you. And then here you had like a section where they would put the latest news. Um, and then usually at the bottom there's a little bit of kind of stuff that the, the scribe of the world would put here. Um, it didn't always change. It just depended on how active the scribe was of that world. When uh, Ancient Worlds was really, really super busy and there were a lot of people logged in every day, there were three scribes per world. And you volunteered. It wasn't a paid position. Um, or the uh, demigods, which are kind of like the next upper level of admin, they would ask you if you would volunteer. Like, can you go be a scribe in, you know, Mesopotamia or Hellas or Egypt. So that's how I ended up. I did one year as a scribe in Egypt. So, uh, and I also did the New Worlds. I did Celtia, Mesopotamia, and Hellas and Egypt. 
is where I, I spent time scribing. The longest has been Mesopotamia and Celtia. So I always go back to those two. So we never really got the best Roman homes part, this little area working. These are like patrons, so these are paying customers of the site because there are memberships. I think he's got them active, um, and there are different levels of patrons that you can be of the site. And then there's actually a scribe here. Minerva is volunteering. I haven't seen her around lately, but... And then here are the latest people that signed up as a Roman. So, okay. First, let me see if I can find, um, where would I have put it? So I have all these AW links. So I have a bunch of Rome links. Let me go over to Homes. And you can see all of these links here. I don't, well, you can't see them. It's not showing them. But there's a bunch of links here that are like um, home. So what did I call? Let me see if I can find my Rome one. <laughs> so you just don't know. Like, okay, here's a Valerius. Okay. So this is one of my characters. Her name is Verena Valerius. So here you can see, like, you can show your friends. So Heraclia and Maria, Cornelia, they're demigods, right? You can see, like, how many posts this character made. There's the image gallery. Here are my properties, because you can own, like, little properties in the different areas of Rome, right? Um, and then what groups I belong to. So this group here is about women. In Rome, this one, I forget what that one is, and this one is about, like, decorating your Roman home. So back then, back in the day, <laughs> because the newer people would be like, what are you talking about? Because you can't, like, decorate your Facebook home or your Twitter X home. Like, it's not personalized really to you. You can have, like, a banner, and that's about it. Like, there's no color schemes. It's just, like, everybody's the same, which I really dislike. One of the great joys that I had in Ancient Worlds is being able to have this customization. Now, I will say that I had to learn HTML and CSS styling style sheets. So, yeah. So, it, it took a bit, but it was the challenge was fine. Um, and I just liked the way it turned out. And then you can pick an avatar. Um, and you can pick like these little images here, like here. See, I got like best homes, but it doesn't show up on that list for whatever reason. I don't know. Um, so back in the day, like people used to make like web sets uh, of graphics, graphic sets, and you could go and you could download them and then you just had to give them credit, um, so here, like down in this area, like most of my pages, I'll try and give the artist of the graphics their credit. So here, like the avatar I got from Outlaw by Design, um, the rose tubes, which are like little graphics files you can use within a graphics program, like Paint Shop Pro, Photoshop, like this one here, this rose came from this Marie B's PSB tubes. And then the fountain came from Anita Lee Creations, right? And then the actual website, which is this kind of, this stuff here, this this is, a, I think a, they call it a border, these bars, this came from this eye expression, <laughs> right? So this would be like something that a newer, uh, younger person would not understand, you know, not really. Um you know, because they don't have to deal with that, right? And so, like, somebody would make a graphic that shows, like, you're a member of the, you know, Jens Valerius, right? Um, I put a quote from Marcus Aurelius Antonius, um, stuff like that. So, and then, like, you can go and have your um, property. You can see my graphics are broken because I have to come over here and fix it up. But here I am in Mons... Celius, Calius, 
I guess Celius. So that's the actual city, right? And then it, it's a district of Rome. So this guy, this Titus Sabinus, he was the one that would have like decorated this and put like information about this part of Rome, right? So up at the top here, you can see the worlds, okay? And you can go back to the main world page, right? So at first, it could have been like really super overwhelming to get to know how to get around ancient worlds. But once you were there for a while, you just knew like where to go, okay? So the way that the discussions look, so let's say they're talking about, let's say like here, the Capitoline, Capitoline. So somebody here, uh, they're usually a scribe, um, would decorate this area. And then if it was the scribe then, and they didn't have like the access rights to edit this area, they would have they would send the, the the code the HTML code and the CSS coding to the demigod to like Heraclea up at the top here she made the board and then they would put the code in here right and so these are just like different forum boards right so here they're talking about families here's a to like welcome people the Acta Diurna was our newsletter the neighborhoods are the different like sub areas of each world. So here the people were talking about the Rome neighborhoods because they didn't have that originally. And then um, the owner created those and then people started saying, I'll volunteer to help like develop that area. So there's a lot of volunteering here. Um, the normal current day social media sites do not have any of that really, except for maybe X like community notes. But you know, it's not it's not the same community feeling. And this was definitely a community. Now, I don't know why somebody has coded all of this to be red other than because it's like a Roman color. Um, but that's kind of how they coded it. And you can change that. It just you have to like have the access to be able to do it. So you can as the scribe or the demigod, you could like feature a place in Rome. So those would be at the top and it's the same across all the other worlds. And then you would have like your either, well, they would be called different things like provinces or whatever realms or whatever each world called them. Because the other thing that ancient worlds had um, is a lot of individuality. Let me take a sip of coffee. Um, and that was one of the the really cool things about it. So if you were a Roman scribe and you were like, well, I want to create a new province in Rome, um, it would just be called a province. If you were a Celtia person, you'd be like, I want to create a new realm, whatever. Like it was very individual and you just kind of work together to build this individual world, right? So if you go over to the provinces, so there's like um, 53 in Rome. Now, Rome is probably, historically, it was the first world, so it's the one that's the most developed. And they have, like, the most, like, sub-areas in the world. It's crazy. They have 53. If you go to, say, like, Celtia, and we'll go up the top here, and we'll go to Celtia, they have four. They have regions. Right? <laughs> so, the Romans, and look, at this is all, like, broken up here. I'm trying to get him to fix it, but he hasn't been around. So, yeah, so the Romans went crazy in their area. So if you go to, say, like, let's go look, let's go look at the list. I don't know if you can get to all of them. And I don't even know Bithynia, Britannia, Egyptus. I'm going to see Dacia, Roman, Armenia. Africa Proconsularis. Okay. So see, it says, please pardon our construction. So somebody didn't finish this. Okay, so there they all are on the left. It's crazy. 
And then if you have an article that deals with this area, right? They'll, you can like set it to like come to this area and they'll be under here. So somebody wrote an article about Hannibal. Like the dates are all wrong. And it's not like not there. I guess the articles might not be working. A little bit, yeah. A little bit. Indigenous tribes of Africa. Somebody was trying to put a map. This was by Mauritius Fabius. He's like he was like a really active Roman. So they're all, all over here on the left. I don't know which ones are like the most developed. Here's Britannia. Somebody made a map, which is kind of cool. Um, okay, so it was Diantha Livius. No, she's the prefect. So the city builders were Tanaquil and Heraclea. So they built this and they wrote this article. And people back then actually like used to write like the stuff. Okay. And they talk about like the Flavian period, Caracalla. I mean, like seriously, it's like, you know. And then they give you some external links that you can go to, like RomanBritain.org to get additional information. And then they had some, oh, here's a bibliography. What's this right here? First recorded name for a woman in Roman Britain. So who wrote this? Claudia Brigantes. That's a Celtia name. So she wrote this little article here back in 2010. The EC just went on. She wrote this back in 2010. That's a long time ago. And then she's got a link to like some letter. Right. So there's a lot of that um, that you can see. Let's see, this is um, it's got little like sub areas. So under, okay, so you've got Rome, and then you've got Britannia, and then you've got Iboracum and Londinium. So let's go to Londinium. Okay. So again, somebody's working on it, but I can't tell who. Uh, da, 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 who did this? There's usually like a name. But it doesn't say here. So somebody actually went and found a map of this ancient London when Rome was there, right? It's got all this like information first for to second century bath. Right? It's pretty cool. And then they have like a they each of these little like sub areas usually has at least one board, like a little form board. Somebody wrote here Quintus Sinus Cassarius Cassius Cassius. 2014. There have been some archaeological excavations that have uncovered signs of destruction. And it looks like the article got cut off. So I don't know if that's something that like, or the post got cut off. Like that's just part of the rebuilding process or what. Okay, so then you had like the province. And then you had the, um, what do they call it? The herb. <laughs> the herb. U R B, um, and then they have like these little uh, like regiones. I guess that's Latin. <laughs> I don't know. So within this city of Londinium, somebody broke it up into three smaller districts, so to speak. So there's one called the Forum. It's like Londinium was the largest city in Britannia, covering 330 acres. Right. And then what you can do is you can buy your property and put it in this little area, right? So these people here on the left all have properties in this part of Rome. So it's Rome, Londinium, Forum, right? So here you can see where it says build a new property. I don't know if that is working. And it's just, yeah. So let's look at the governor's palace, right? Somebody actually went and found a map, amazing, of this place. Here's Diantha. She has a house here. Here's Fabricius. 
Right. So let's go back up to Londinium and then let's go over to Eberacum. See, and they're just like working on it. So it was a long process of building up, adding information. Um, I don't know, let's see if I can get to Italia. Look at all these articles. Like some people just were really like, um, let's look at the Egypt, Roman, the Romans in Egypt. Uh, Egypt was brought into the Roman Empire by the defeat of Mark Antony and Cleopatra by Octavian following the Battle of, Battle of Actium in 31 BC. So you can find like little, you know, well, I don't say little, but a lot of history. I mean, it is an ancient history site. So um, I don't know. Here's a long article about Greek interaction with East Africa and Quintus Cinna. He's written actually quite a lot of articles. Now, some of the people that were members here were actual um, archaeologists and historians. So it was uh, pretty cool that they did that. Um, and they volunteered their time and they just wrote articles. Um, and they were just like willing to do it. Or they shared like their source or like where they learned and they just wrote it up. Who is this by Germani Flavius, right? Let's go back to the main Roman page. And so then, as part of the world and part of the social life of ancient world, and because it was a social site, it was probably what you, could, you would consider to be the precursor to social media. So it's basically a forum, bulletin board site, where people were members, you sign up. Um, the main difference between ancient worlds and just a regular forum board is that you could create personas, right? So Senex, he's been around forever. He's probably like in real life, like up in his 60s. Like we've been around for a long time. We've known each other for a long time in here, right? Um, and he's always um, doing like he's got all he's got 19 properties. He's like a hardcore Roman right and he does like these really cool um what do you call them not haiku but like little puzzle things i don't know he's just like really really cool so he's one of the um he's a founding patron right so he's been around for a long long time so since it's a social site we would come up with and here's where you had to be creative we would come up with actual events that we could celebrate so let's say like you're in the roman festivals area right um, one of the things that they started was talk like a pirate day. <laughs> so it wasn't always necessarily just like, you know, Roman day. Um, people would come up with quizzes. Um, they were doing Saturnalia. That was a big one in Rome. That's in December. I guess that's like their Christmas, I guess. And then people would have, um, uh, different things of course some of these things they're gonna they're gonna break because you know <laughs> it's been so long it's very hard to maintain the integrity of this kind of community and this kind of website when it's been around for so long I mean we've been here so long that we've actually had we we know that members have passed away which is really sad because like one of my favorite guys he did I was so sad when he passed or they've drifted away and they've gone somewhere else um yeah so like here was somebody was Maria she's been around for a very long time was doing some Saturnalia puzzles or maybe it's Saturnalia what is this house of the Panthera Partis I don't know welcome to the house of the Panthera Partis don't be concerned about Emily. She has been my companion ever since she was a cute, blue-eyed, spotted bundle of leopard cub energy. <laughs> That's so funny, right? I look around the site of Leptis Magna. It's all about the olive trade. Very interesting. And there was probably like something else there that somebody could do. Um, right, so they would have these like these events, okay? Um, Saturnalia was a big one. 
Um, I have no idea. Um, they were having a flame war. I don't even know what that was. Well, I wasn't really a, like an active Roman, so I don't really know like what that was. Here somebody had like Circus Maximus. Uh, somebody had gladiatorial games. There's some more Saturnalia stuff. Here's I'll talk about Goldfest in a minute. Here's Palilia. Palilia. Oh, it's a Bur Rome's birthday celebration. That was back in 2011. And there's 20 more down here. So there's the navigation, site navigation down here on the bottom. So you can go down and see 20 more boards. More Saturnalia. That was like their, that was I think Rome's big one. Somebody did an I, Claudia celebration games. Somebody did something about Neptunalia. The Ides of March. Look, there's 20 more. See how far back it goes. Let's keep going down. Let's see if I can go to the bottom. I guess he calls them threads. So the earliest one is back in 2005. That I can see here. Ceremonial opening of the Roman Spring Fest. So you can see... Get wasted. I have no idea what that is. Right? Tour of the Circus Maximus. Okay, so let's go to the threads list top. Okay. Right, so the, the scribes usually were the ones, um, or the, the most active residents were the ones creating these events. We're putting together these quizzes, like this Roman monarchy quiz. I have no idea. Somebody did that. It looks like the image is broken. Senex, Senex did it. Um, and then you can post about, like, your score. Somebody got 60%, right? And you can just kind of share, like, your participation in that quiz. So let's talk about Goldfest a little bit because it goes across all the worlds. Okay, so let's go, what's the most recent one? Saturnalia 2014. Baconalia. Somebody's <laughs> doing something about bacon. Um, oh, it was Maria. So Maria came up with the Baconalia. Like, celebration of Bacchanalia. You can go all out to celebrate, consume, and get fat, and even drunk off of bacon. Now, you know, I don't know if that would be, like, politically correct today. <laughs> if you could go out and say that, like, get fat. You'd probably get, like, canceled or something. But back then, like, nobody cared. Seriously, nobody cared. So here she's got some, like, interesting things. So I guess this was Rome's contribution to Goldfest. Right. So Goldfest was an overall site celebration. It happened every year. Um, this was in November. So I guess in the fall. I think it was around like like the it was like the celebration of the founding of ancient worlds, like in the fall. Um, it wasn't always on the same date, depending on how busy people were or whatever. I mean, because people actually had like real lives. So. Um, it would be just be site wide. Everybody would kind of come up with a date. We kind of agree, and then um, usually the scribes would get together and say, you know, what is Rome going to contribute to Goldfest? What is Celtia going to contribute to Goldfest? And then those scribes. So, like, if I was scribing in Celtia, I would say, okay, well, let me get back to you. Let me think about it for a bit, and I might come up with a quiz or a tour of like Stonehenge. Or um, talking about, you know, uh, the Druids or something related to Celtia because I was a Celtia scribe. If I was scribing in Mesopotamia, I might do something about the hanging gardens in Babylon, you know, um, or, you know, Mesopotamian goddesses. I, I did that one year. Um, yeah, when I was in Hellas, I did something about the, the Titans, right? So every every um, world kind of contributed to Goldfest. Um, and here she found like some, you know, links about like here's some recipes. Uh, and these are like different 
threads and stuff. Bacon 101. I what is that? Bacon brains. Here she's got a video history of bacon, the vocabulary of bacon, a pig primer. Somebody Fabricio shared some poems about bacon. Here's the quiz. How addicted to bacon are you? Right? And you can do your score, bacon and I. Right? So it was a lot of fun. Um, it wasn't meant to be like ultra serious all the time. Because, I mean, who wants to be ultra serious all the time? Um, for a second. Um, so let me go up. Let me go back. So let me go back to Roman festivals. Let me see what the next one was. That was 2014. In 2013, they did Ludi, Victori, whatever, Solani. Uh, held October 26th to November 1st. Um, to enter your gladiator, gladiator, leave a message here. and Include your gladiator's name, nationality, and fighting style. I have no idea what they were doing here. Um, here, here's something about of the fight. Welcome back, Quirides and Peregrini. Well, here we are, the big event, the final bout for the Ludi, Victori, Solani. I guess I don't know how to say that. In one corner, stands undefeated for the simple reason he's never fought before in this arena. As a Mermillo, he represents a good Roman. So a lot of this, I guess, must have been like a text, a text um, event. I'm not really sure, because of course I'm not like a Roman. But yeah, it must have been like a text, because there was a lot of role play. So he says, "I watch as my gladiator starts out fighting well, then slow, slowly loses his composure, takes a nasty blow to the jaw. What a disappointment!" Right, so there was a lot of fun with the writing part of things. So if you were, and you didn't have to be like any kind of like super talented writer. You just had to have fun with it. You didn't have to be serious. So if I go back up here, and these are kind of like the main, down this little this little um, bar right here. So you can go back here and you can go to the board post and you get back to this screen that we were on at the beginning. So if you go over here and it says like site-wide boards, right? And go to Ancient World Celebrations. And then you can see, I think the last Gold Fest, it looks like it was 2015. And it looks like this graphic. It looks like we're missing a background. So... Right, so it's the anniversary of the official gold launch of Ancient Worlds in October of 2002. So before Ancient Worlds was like its own site, I believe it was on Vines. If I remember correctly, that's where it kind of started. And then he just created the, um, bought the domain and then created the website. And moved it off of Vines. I think when Vines closed down. Not positive. But it's been around longer than 2002. But 2002 is when it actually became like in its own website as Ancient Worlds. Um, and Jot is the owner. Jot Ariston. And of course, you know, as, as, as time has gone by, we've all aged. So... Um, most likely he is my age and I'm 64 or older or like right, you know, like right around, you know, so we've all gotten older. So I know that it must be difficult for him to maintain his own real life and try and upgrade the site to new software. I know it's got, I mean, you know, it's ridiculous. So, um, I don't know. So it says, she says here, Festival Links in Keltia. Festival Guide updated. Like, I don't even know, like, where is the Festival Guide? It's usually, like, somewhere where you can see it. Who made it? Who made the guide? Update. Uh, 
I don't know. Let me go back to um, 2014. This one, the graphics look like they're still <laughs> mostly working. Um, oh, this was the bacon. These are, here are the participants, the individual people um, giving out things or creating events. I don't really know what that one was about. Um, let's look at 2013. Rome states are, okay, so it would usually be like over, I think it used to be early on, it used to be over two weeks, and then we made it a week, because it was like two weeks of events, it was crazy, um, but then we made it like a week, and then maybe like a couple days, so somebody would make normally like a guide, <laughs> and then like you could go, and they would link like to the world, here's the plebeian games, in conjunction with Goldfest. It's so usually somebody putting a graphic and then they would list like what the actual individual events were. So here you've got like something about mysterious Roman artifacts. Here's Senex again, his little puzzles. Maria's less creative but somewhat interesting puzzle. She's hilarious. Um, and then the horrible Goldfest 2013 quiz. And Decius. I believe Decius is Maria's husband, if I remember correctly. Right, so here's what I write here. A lady's perfume gets lost with all that cigar smoke in the air. That was me writing back in, I was like, we were just, you know, we love this place. There were people here all the time. Um... I don't know if there's a way for me to actually, like, find out. Um, there probably is somewhere to find out, like, what the traffic was back then, but I'm not really sure. Um, here they were talking about HBO's Rome. Here's some more stuff. Roman television, offensive Roman poetry. I'm, I'm not going to go look at that. Um, chatting that in Latin. Somebody, Quintus was writing about Latin slang words. I don't even know, like, what the, what that is. Somebody's writing about Pompeii, SPQR, um, Gladiator versus Braveheart. It's just this, this discussions, great gibbering gibbon. <laughs> oh, new virtual room, humorous history, Roman slave market. Here's suggestions for new groups in Rome. All right, so let's go back over there. <laughs> These people are hilarious. It was hilarious. It was loads of fun. So if you go and you look at all the groups, right? So these were like by, by uh, topical interests, normally um, related to the world that they're created in, but not all the time. So uh, like the Pirates Guild is not related to Roman history, right, that I'm aware of. Uh, but somebody put that group here because maybe they couldn't figure out where, like, you know, it wasn't like tied to any particular world, so they just like, I'm going to stick it in Rome. Um, ancient Mysteries, that's like the woo woo stuff. Um, here's like po poetry. This was about mothers. Arachne's Web was the group that helped you with all of this coding. And this is where you came and you learned about, like, here we've got tutorials about Paint Shop Pro, cascading style sheets, Photoshop, um, HTML. And uh, this group was actually, like, really, really active. There were uh, projects they were doing. Here's where you could show off what you did. This was about, like, security and viruses. This is about web, web stuff like websites and whatever. Here's where you could do like graphics, fonts, copyright information. Here's code. Uh, this is just like hanging out. And this is like designing in ancient world specifically. So if you looked at like this, coding for home sites and groups, and you wanted to decorate like your home property, this is where you would come and get like information. I know it sounds like really bizarre like, why would you have to do that, right? But um, let me see if I can find like an example where somebody did it. So Laurel 
This lady here, Laurels, was really, she's the redhead. She was really, really helpful, and Al Alson was helpful, too. Um, and, and somebody would, like, let's see if I can find, like, an example. It's, like, here. Wait. Let me highlight this line right here. So this is the kind of coding that you would put in your home to say like change your, like they say you want a kind of like a Roman looking background for your property or for your home. You would, you know, like that's like you would add like CSS coding and you would have to learn that. <laughs> it was like really bizarre, like really super bizarre. Um, so right, so all of these groups that are kind of listed under Rome. So this is about books. Here's poetry. I was a member of that. Uh, and we would have like poetry competitions. Here's about first Emperor Augustus, Julius Caesar. This is about religion in Rome. Coins. Somebody was interested in coins. So for the most part, you were free to create a group. Um, it was a good idea to kind of run it by the scribe of that world. So you would ask like the Roman scribe, say, hey, I'm interested in, in having a group uh, about coins, you know. Um, and they would say, yeah, go for it or whatever, right? Um, the legacy of Sulla. This one here is a, a uh, private group. And I was part of this. And this was a role play group. <laughs> called the Legacy Hunters. Um, it was actually like really, 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 really super cool. Um, I was in Arcane. So let's see if I can find... And of course, you have to remember clan members. Where would it be? The Lodge? I'm not even sure like where we would have put it. I don't even know where we would have put it. Clan hierarchy. Working notes on arcane magic. What is that even about? Does that even work? No, it's not working over there. Yeah. I don't know. I think he's still working on the groups, but I was here as Phaedra was one of my characters. So, right. So, all of these Roman groups. Let me go back. Uh, 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 Rome. Go back here. Groups. Close the legacy. Um, I think I made... I, I might have made a spreadsheet with all of these groups. I don't know. I was trying to create like a better navigation for this. Um, I doubt that it's still like even remotely up on my domain anywhere. You know. Um... And I'm trying to think of which group, maybe this one here, was pretty active, writing story, stories about Romans, right? And so they have 176 members up here in that upper left corner. And all of this, just all of this writing, all of this his, history, um, research materials, uh, just, it's just crazy. The Detective War Toga, Murder in the House of Varus. What is that? I don't know. Okay, so Maria. Let's go down to the bottom. Let's see what this is. Message, The Chain Dogs. Author, Lucius Didius Silva. So this is either, this is like a historical role play that she wrote. Right? Like, she actually, like, wrote that. Like, who does that these days, right? And it was just, like, and you would come here and you could read that and be, like, totally entertained. And and it wasn't, like, just a, you know, like how, how Twitter used to be, 140 characters. It was, like, an actual, um, you know, like, decent historical, <laughs> you know, article to read. Um, 
who's who's the head of this group? Heraclea and Calpurnia. From Caesar to Augustus, Caesar sources the Gallic Wars to the Rubicon. Here's stuff about Caesar's contemporaries. Creative Caesar, the Ides of March. The end of the Roman Republic, Caesar's legacy. Did Caesar destroy the Roman Republic? Is that got 158 posts? So if you look at that, all of these people here are talking about that. And so they're not necessarily like long super messages that people were writing to each other. Here's Heraclea. I tend to ag agree that Caesar wanted to be primus inter pares, but if he could not, blah, blah, blah. Right, so all of these people are literally like engaging with each other about Roman history in a serious way, but also like having fun. Like Sophia says, I'm, I'm willingly being provocative, right? So she's playing like devil's advocate, right? Here's somebody giving Tiberius Nero Maximus giving his opinion, right? And the Roman world is, um, is really like, has a lot of that, um, like discussion, not to say that all the other worlds don't, because there's some, you know, just there, all the worlds have discussions like this. But since Rome was um, the first, right? It has, uh, I think, maybe like more substance to it. Um, not to say that people didn't try and like, you know, here's somebody who tried to create this group, but I guess he was trying to be a um, uh, role play thing. Um, the tenth muse was super. Oh, I'm the, I'm the censor perpetuous. <laughs> I was writing poetry. I was writing poetry back then. Um, and Gaius Ulpius was the other guy, like really. And I was going back and forth with Draco's Alexandros. Oh gosh, so there we were having like poetry competitions, um, a winter poetry competition. You can see my graphics broken. Um, some of these I couldn't like really like compete in because I was uh, kind of like helping to run the group. But um, this is the kind of thing, look here we talk about modern poets, Irish poets, British poets, um, kind of place just to hang out. Um, kind of horror poetry um here's about like limericks uh one of the ones that was um let's see if i can find it there was a coffee house let's see if i can find it okay the interactive poem and mystify me okay mystify me was where i did a lot of stuff oh so so um, it was kind of like a poetry tag. I don't know if people even know what that is these days. So somebody would write a poem and you would have to take like the last, I think the last two lines. Somehow you would have to tie it, um, to the poem previously posted by the other person, right? So that was kind of interesting. So this was something else that was going on, you know, in Rome, um, and then the interactive poem, I did this one, oh, that was the, that's the one, so Mystify Me is not that, Mystify Me is, do, 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 do. there's a poem I wrote, 2010, as a Etana, that's my Mesopotamian Right, and then you give the next topic, and somebody writes about that. So if you go, you can see, um, I don't even know how many how many posts are in here, does it say? I don't think it's, oh yeah, the, there's 400 posts just in here. So people were active, and, and people, I mean, people were in here all the time, just, you know, trying different things, right? Um, let's have a poetry competition, or, you know, I'll start a poem, and then you do, like, the next line. Right? So here's where Dracos, Dracos and I were going back and forth. Trying to outdo each other poetically. It was a lot of fun. 
So groups, homes, um, let's look at Rayate. Oh, this one looks pretty. This is by Fabius Furious. So he's got his map. Looks nice. And then he talks about this area. Put some pictures, a map. Very nice. The modern names for the Avons, Tolenus, and Nar rivers are the Villino, Villino Toronto, and Nara. Let's look at this one. So he's done a very nice job here. Just talking about the area. And sometimes people like did some quotes from like other articles. This one's not done yet, but he started it. Sometimes people would, you know, quote maybe like Wikipedia or other articles or whatever and then put the little copyright or whatever. Um, but a lot of the times people just actually like wrote out the article which is rather interesting. Um, so all of these other boards, these are the groups down here, all these other boards, the form Romanum, you know, um, the Palatine, here they're talking about, famous Romans, all links lead to Rome. <laughs> they're so, they were always so boastful, Rome's the best, and I were like, no, it's not where we would just like diss on the Romans <laughs> cooking in the ancient world, ancient Roman artifacts, the Roman army on the frontiers, the province of Roman Britain. I mean, seriously, you know, and all of the worlds are like this. What I'm showing you here with the Romans is um, also found in all of the other worlds, but I'll probably do... I probably do like a the ones that I'm most um, familiar with would be like Mesopotamia and Celtia, because I kind of help build those, or well, at least Mesopotamia. I mean, I did a stint in Hellas. Let's see if I can find it. I did a stint in Hellas. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Let's see if I can find it. Let's see if this is actually working. Right, so this is my tour of the Titans. So I was Nyx Ariston. So I wrote this. I am Gaia, goddess of earth, your hostess and god for this tour. We'll be exploring the gods and goddesses known as the Titans. So the Titans are the predecessors of the Olympians. Blah, blah, blah. And it talks about... The way I wrote it, it's like I have to admit that I did encourage him to overthrow his father, Oranos, the sky. But we women do odd things now and then. Let's just blame that on hormones. My glorious children were overthrown by the younger gods known as the Olympians, those upstarts. So then, like, you would click on, like, the link and the graphics are broken. I would have to come back here and fix them. So this was about um, Tethys, goddess of the sea. And listing her children. And then her husband brother was Oceanus. Right? Shall we see what he wants? And then you would like click on the next thing. Go like, right? So, all the, all the coding is all like just messed up. So, all of that kind of same tour type stuff is found in here. But probably the easiest place to find it is just go to, like, the Roman festivals and, like, go, like, to these different um, gold fests. Like, 2010 was the das Decenalia. I think that was the Decenalia. Maybe it was, like, 20, 2007. I don't know when the site was, like, 10 years. Um, and then we had, like, a war, the gold fest 2010. It must have been 2005. Um, here we had the war. <laughs> Goldfest usually ran into Soen, which happened in Celtia. Um, look at these graphics I made back in the day. And, um,
just in, you know, hood home tour guidelines. And we had like a game, war games and treasure hunt. Um, and I'm trying to think like where like the actual event stuff was, but I don't know for sure. Combined headquarters of Rome and Hellas. So I guess they, ooh, they combine their thing. Who is that? How can you read that? Who did this? Vipsania. She usually did better coding than that. That's kind of hard to read. Senex is holding games to honor our fallen military her heroes at the necropolis in Utica. Oh, here they are. 2010 World Headquarters. Let's look at Rome. All right, that is the Roman one. Praetorium Festorum Aureum. <laughs> it's like, let's look at the Celtia. Yeah, that wasn't mine. Okay, go back. What was I doing at that time? Mesopotamia? No. Which one did I do? I don't even remember. Where was I? In Hellas? No. Why am I going to Hellas? Go back. Rome, Mesopotamia, Orient, Americas, Egypt. Oh, it took me to, yeah, to my home. That's my <laughs> Egypt character. Okay, so yeah, here, Egypt, Gold Fest, 2010 world headquarters so I put all this together I have to go and come back here and fix this graphics so yeah so um and then of course these link this is supposed to be something here there's supposed to be a background but it's not there it's not showing I would have to go back and literally redo the code like make sure the graphics uploaded to my domain and redo the link and then it will show up so this is Rome there is a lot here to explore. Um, if you're interested in reading about Roman history, this is the place to be. Um, there's quizzes. There's discussions about HBO's Rome TV show. There's groups that you can come. Um, let's see what the gems are. So the gems of ancient worlds are kind of like activities that got either... Um, I would say like the current day version of a lot of likes. Well, you know, a lot of participation. Or there was like a lot of detail and work put into it. So uh, I don't know, like, what is this? A Roman wine tour? Oh, somebody has that somewhere else. I don't know where. Tour the Circus Maximus. That was Senex. <laughs> so, yeah, he's, he's done a lot. The House of the Tragic Poet. This is Cornelia. She's one of the demigods. Click on the links below to visit the rest of the domus. The domus is the home. Right. So if you come and you look at, so like she's one of the demigods. If you look at her home, right, she's a Roman. She's got that picture. Right, so she's a founding patron. So here's all her properties. So this is how she <laughs> decorated her home. Do I give a damn processing? That's funny. If you can't be good, at least have fun while you're doing it. The horse chicks of the apocalypse. I'm a member of that. Um, so these are all like little things. She's a city builder. So she's helped create the little domus, not the domus, is the, what were they called? Regiones? of Rome, so she helped like write them or decorate them or whatever, probably write them. She wasn't much on the graphics end of things. Um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And these are like little events, like America's has Dias de los Muertos. And they had an actual like in, in real life meeting in New Orleans in 2003 that she went to. There's a little subgroup of chicks, Hell's Bells, um, Ancient Worlds Anonymous, <laughs> or the, the Addicted always there. There's her chainsaw. She was like the disciplinarian of the site. Um, 
Yeah, you don't want to get her on her bad side. It's like, oh, shoot, she's she's after me now. Um, and this guy here, even though he's actually, he's, he's a Greek, because you can see it says the Hellenic world, Hellenic world. Um, his main character is a Greek, but he's the founder of the site. He's hard to get hold of. Yeah, he is. So you can see he didn't like even bother to decorate a site, and he's in 17 groups. He doesn't really participate in the groups. So you see, he's like he. The latest um, you can have like a journal. So his latest journal is back from November of 2022, but I think I've talked to him since then. So he's the one that's recoding the site. So apparently, um, this entire site with the groups and the personas, um, the individual worlds, all of this was built with something called Web Objects. I think it's an Apple product. Um, I think, and it's no longer able, like it's just no longer being supported or able to be changed or whatever. Um, and he was just trying to update the site. So if you go to, say, like the board post, you can see the different look and the little icons. So that's kind of, you know, he's trying to make it look different. Like he's trying to update it, like the font and all that kind of stuff. Because the main page didn't used to look like this. Like the board central, it didn't look like this. It was a lot of stuff like over here on the left and little, like, you know, yeah. It was kind of a busy site. It would be probably more like... Um, like this is kind of how like that that daily index looked. Dionysia is scribing here, so this was like my one of my main homes, and then Keltia was the other one. I mean, I did a little bit in Hellas, and I little, did a little bit in Greece. I didn't do a whole lot in Rome, so that's why, like, I didn't really know as much about it. But, um, and it's so big. I mean, it's got, like, all of these areas that you can just go and explore. Like, right? It's just, you know, it's just crazy how big it is. I, I doubt that it would, um, like, ever be complete. First of all, it's just too much work. Second of all, people just don't think like that anymore. Um, they're not in this kind of like, yeah, I'll help build your website. You know, they just they just don't really do that that sort of thing anymore. Um, here's Antioch. Somebody put a nice map. Seleucia Pyrea. <laughs> don't know. I don't know who wrote this. Does it say? They didn't even create a board. Like every every like area I tried to make, I had to, I wanted to make a place where people can post, right? Because that's how you communicated back then, was by writing. You know, we didn't have video chat <laughs> stuff like that. You were like, I'm gonna leave a message for so and so. So um, if you go to like my home, let me close this and this and the room. So if you go to my home in Keltia, you can see I decorated it, right? Um, and if you want to leave me a message, there's this little thing right here. And you can click on it. And Senex sent me a message in December. And you can chit-chat with people there. So you have a place to do that, and then you have, like, a personal diary. So if I was in my Roman persona... I could have like a little diary, right? This was so in 2014. These are some little graphics, things that people, they kind of handed these little graphics out that show that you participated in that event. Here's 2008. I'm a real Lunasa cook. 2007, 2003. goes back a long ways so um but we're not doing Celtia right now we're doing Rome which you can see here so if you're interested in Roman history I don't know still I haven't been able to get a hold of Jod to ask him if the site is accepting new members I'm assuming that it is I don't know this says November 4th 
Let's look at Hellas. September 30th, but it doesn't give a year. October 3rd. Let's look at the New Worlds. November 17th. This is Rosalind. Let's go look at this real quick. If I can tell what year. So this is like a home. Does it say when they... Let's go back. Let's look at his last name is Rurik. Let's go down here. Rurik. So these are the family names. Rurik. Poe. Franklin. This is like North America. Uh, I'm a Sax Coburg. So let's look at Rurik. Does it say when he last log in? It only says like the last log and it doesn't say like what the what year that was, but it should be that looks fairly recent. Who's this person? Alexi room. Somebody's doing something about them. But it doesn't say like when like what when that started, so yeah. So anyhow, that is Rome in ancient worlds. I will probably do one. I'll probably do like, maybe I'll do like one for all of them. Um, the more extensive ones, of course, would be where I scribe. So Hellas, Egypt, Mesopotamia, Celtia, and the New Worlds. I didn't scribe in the Orient. The Orient was, the Orient, mm, chef's kiss. This place is just so awesome. Like you want to come here and look around. They've got like the most awesome graphics and information and um I mean it's just like like this is just so cool. Look at these little town explore the town of Harbin. Anyway, okay, so I don't want to get, like you could just like I don't want to do that. You can just go down wow, how did I end up there? You can just go down like the rabbit hole. Of ancient worlds, and um, there's there's so much to explore, so much to see, so much to read, and it goes back a long way. So that is my Roman in Rome, <laughs> little little tour of the Roman world, and it's so interesting. It says like the Roman world, but if you come here and you look at Egypt, let's see what Egypt says. That one's broken. What does Mesopotamia say? Mesopotamia. What does the Americas say? The Americas. Germania. Only in Rome does it say the Roman world. It doesn't say like, I don't think it's, did I say Hellas? Oh no, Hellas does. Oh, the Egypt one's broken. That one's broken. Where's that graphic? <laughs> so, yeah, the Roman world. Um, really, ideally, this should just say Rome, but somebody needs to make the graphic, so anyhow. Um, if you have questions about ancient worlds, um, go ahead and leave a comment on the video, and um, I will certainly try and find the answer for you uh, if I don't know it. Um, it really is a very special place on the internet. And I know that people have mostly moved on and they're into this, you know, modern social media X and Facebook and the nasty Instagram, which I really dislike. Um, you know, TikTok, which I don't even do. Um, and I never will. Um, it was just a different time. I think a better time. People were um, much more nice to each other, much more courteous to each other. Uh, we considered the Internet... Um, a forum or whatever to mostly be like a, a, um, a public space. And back then, people in public were much more polite. Uh, we didn't like, you know, say F you or whatever in public. It just wasn't done. Like that might happen like in a private message or maybe like in the darker corners of the web. But in public websites like this, that just didn't happen. Now, there were tempers, there were arguments and whatever. But it was not like what you see on X or Facebook or whatever. That's totally different. So, um, and of course, very little video, if any at all. Um, it was just by words. 
So you had to be very careful with what you said because it could be interpreted wrong, <laughs> which we don't do these days. So anyhow, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little uh, snapshot of the past of the Internet. I mean, it's still there. Like, I'm logged in. It says, you know, I'm logged in. It says one person online. That's me. Um, you know, and, and this used to say, you know, 100, 200. Yeah, it was different back then. So, uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video. Um, I'm not sure when I'll do Hellas, uh, just when I get the itch to do it, I guess. I'm going to do some paleo gaming on the channel in a little bit. I've got to let the puppies go do their business outside and, uh, I guess refill my coffee or whatever. And, um, then I'll be doing some paleo gameplay. So, um, enjoy, have a great day and I will talk to you next time.